What's up, Internet? Collier here from Finer Wombat. I am going to be giving you a different type of uh, different type of content. So, as you can already see, this is Tunic, the demo that has been uh, showed like a while back and recently on E3. And um, so what happened was I was supposed to be making like a let's play with the microphone, but I didn't bring the microphone because I went to Lonnie's uh, new apartment. But um. I didn't have it, so I was just going to do live commentary over my old gameplay. So as you can see right now, this is me playing around with the, uh, the game. You just woke up, I'm going up some hills here, and I'm just like showing you guys the control. Um, you got like a little dodge roll thing, which is pretty cool. And as you can see right there, that's not English. A lot of things in this game is not going to be in English, well, except for that right there on the other side. But the game is also pretty cool at like not telling you how things work, you just gotta figure it out. Except for this one instance. So, focus, inventory, moving, and like you're dashing and you're running with the A, a button and pressing and going, using stuff. So, see, this is me learning to run and whatnot. And also, I played this game before when Jelani showed me the first time, and then he had left to go to work, and then I decided to do this for you guys. So, here we are. It's dangerous to go alone. Here, take this stick. That's not what it really says. I have no idea what it says, but <laughs> we all know this is supposed to be like you no know, a Legend of Zelda legacy type of game. He's obviously wearing the green. It's a little fox, and you just go out in this big, vast open world and just have fun. In ways, this is a lot like the uh, Zelda games, or like the original Legend of Zelda game for the NES. And also, in a lot, believe it or not, this is more like a Dark Souls game, but I will show you that in a minute. <laughs> so we got like a couple of slams here, just beating him up with a stick, pressing uh, the left trigger to lock on onto the enemy specifically that you want to attack. And then we got this thing, shoots out crystals, and of course there's like the little golden cubes for like currency. There's, I'm guessing there's going to be like a, like, no, you get like, buy items one up but for right now in this demo that is not the case now this right here is your checkpoint or aka your bonfire from the dark souls games and then when you do that the enemies respawn so that's what i discovered and found out the hard way jelani didn't tell me and i was like oh okay they respawn even though i just killed like the crap load of them but all right that's cool so now what I'm doing, I'm like kind of like speed running through and trying to uh, get the sword because there is a sword in the, in the demo and I remember where it was so I'm just trying to like speed through it, beating up a little bit of uh, piggies or I don't know what the heck they are, I just call them little pigs, that's what they kind of look like to me. Like little mini Ganondorfs or Ganons from like the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. Google that right now and tell me these things don't look like the freaking pig. Oh, yeah, I got hit. But yeah, they look a lot like the freaking little mini Ganon piggy guys and look there I am I got the sword you take the sword yes you take the sword and the thing when you get items like this you have to switch it into your inventory but at the same time it doesn't pause the game so you just like you gotta be quick with it and now my health is very low and my stamina oh yeah that's why I saw the health and stamina if you look on the bottom left corner the green is the stamina and the pink which is like gone now because I'm dead is, is the health and another thing that makes this like a you no know, souls game, you respawn at the bonfire or the checkpoint that you go to, and as you about to see, I'm about to go down to uh, collect my stuff. I don't know. Oh yeah, that's right. I got the sword, so I'm going over here and getting this chest, which has a piggy bank, which gives you more coins or basically rupees. I guess it's like you know, like when you find like a red rupee or like a, a blue rupee in the chest in the Legend of Zelda games. Okay, there it is. That little chest right there. That was all myself. Like, well, basically the currency, which doesn't mean anything in the demo right now. But like all your other stuff, like uh, the sword, I still have. The stick, I still have. There are some consumables in the game. There are two types of consumables that if you do use, you will like no. You will just you just use them and lose them. Use and lose. But like, uh, there are some other items like uh, heart containers or like health, health containers. Those respawn with you. So now I'm just gonna just go in here and just like empty spot. I forget what the heck I get here. What do I get here? 
Oh yeah, just uh, oodles of a uh, chest stuff. Okay, here we go. I found a key. Weird looking key. I oh, actually that sound that key. And more rupees, coins, gems, or whatever. Here we go. Firecracker. These are essentially bombs. You just toss them and they just like blow up. And there's a little statue. Don't know what that does, but that's I'm guessing like for the demo purposes. Like, oh hey, these are like some key items. As you can see, it's in its own little slot. And I broke the piggy bank, and I got more coins. There is no coin counter in this demo. I'm just now noticing. So I'm going back outside, and as you can see, those little caution things. You can't go past those because you no, know, this game is still in development. Still, it's just a demo. So that's a, a nice little way to. So, oh, this is not ready yet, so don't pass. I guess I hit that piggy demon thing. Let's fight with him. I'm going to get another chest. Another piggy bank. Let's go ahead and break it. It's like get 50 coins from there. Be the piggy demon thing. Just rolling down now. Just I don't think this well, as far as I know. I don't think this game has like an XP system. It's probably just like every other Legend of Zelda. You just go around, beat stuff up. And, I, okay, and I'm literally just like breaking, literally breaking and entering someone else's home. It's literally someone's home. It was locked, there's a bed, there was a pause. I just had to break because no, just for the whole Legend of Zelda. And there goes another key item. It's just a coin with a triangle in it, which is kind of susly, suspiciously looking kind of close to the Kai Force but in a coin form, but okay. There's nothing that I do with that coin, by the way, or that little statue that I picked up earlier. There's nothing that I do with that in the demo. It's just the game is trying like, oh, here are some key items that may or may not be useful later on in the game. Maybe there's like, there are items that I can sell. Oh, okay, I remember this part. So now I'm just like going back to this one part where there is some English. See you forever. A big door. But if you look closely on the door, there's like these three little slots. And I'm guessing that's where the coin that I have, one of three, that's probably where they go into. And then the thing would become unlocked forever. Or maybe that's like the whole end game. The entire premise of the game is probably trying to open up that door that's sealed forever. So you just gotta find the three coins. And then once you open that, then you beat the game. Or maybe that's just like another way to like unlock another part of the game. And let's see, I'm running back down this way, and I think I'm trying to show- Oh yeah, okay, so I'm trying to show you guys a little something about these enemies. These enemies are very, very persistent. They will hunt you down. Uh, case in point, this example I'm about to show you, as you can see, these are little skulls, and then that little thing is still coming after me. So I'm just gonna kill him. But then there's this other enemy type that's big and giant. Okay, you see, you see that right there? Yep, right there. So I just woke him up and just smack him a few times. He got this big little club. I can't remember if he hits me or not. Yep, he hits me and I am dying. So now I'm just gonna run. Just run for dear life. But he is literally going to chase me all the way to where I'm going to go. That is how persistent that enemy or these enemies are. There are some enemies in the game that also do the same thing. I will show you uh, later on. There's like one part of the gameplay where I saw this enemy. He, it, it was blocked for the for the path from where I was to where it was. It literally went all the way around through the other part of the map just to get to me. And I heard it coming. I was like, "What the heck is that?" And then it comes through the door and it gets me. And I only had like one health left. And it was just. It was funny and frustrating at the same time. Like, yo, what the heck? Just, <laughs> it, it was a good time to be had. I was laughing, Jelani was laughing, the toaster laughed, I shot the toaster. Yeah, good times. So now I'm just running along. I think I was trying to like find another chest to like get the uh, health potions. But I think at this point is when we find the shadow. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, so yeah, the fox is looking up because he knows there's an enemy there and you can see the big giant skull guy just up there and then he just whacks me one good or like I think I yeah, yeah I pump into him so I, when I think it's safe it's not really safe oh yeah he throws his minions and I'm like oh crap I need to move so then I move and then I bump right into him while he was swinging his club 
So now, that would be the only time you would see this guy, and I will move on with the rest of the adventure. Whack these guys one. And I guess I completely forget about my chest that I'm not gonna go get, but at the same time, it doesn't matter. Because it's just coins, and I don't know if it's gonna progress throughout the game or. Uh. And now at this point, I'm trying to find that chest. Eventually, I'll find it. I might just skip straight to it. Okay, here we go. This is where I find the chest. I was trying to be uh, quick and open it, but I dodged it instead. It looks like I'm still going for it. Okay, there it is. Yeah, so that is where the health potion is. And again, a lot of not English, except for the RB that appeared on the whole text thing. So now that I'm fully equipped with everything that I have here, I think I go to the next part of the world, which is like essentially a dungeon of like no Legend of Zelda. Damn, my similar is low, so I'm just gonna walk it off. Also, I have to say, the music in this game is just pretty phenomenal. Alright, so you see that thing right there? It blows up. They didn't figure that out the first time around. And that's what they look like when they're attacking. And if you're wondering why I didn't dodge roll while I was in the water, because the game won't allow you to. And boom, there we go. We finally have the shield. And that is going to help out a lot. Yeah, look at me go. And that's the only time I was able to dodge because I was still on a solid surface. And there goes my next checkpoint and bonfire. I didn't notice it's the first time around, but the, the checkpoints refill your stamina and health. So that little green thing right there, that was the thing that was chasing me persistently throughout the entire map until they actually came around and got me. You can still hear it, but it's still trying to find its way to get to me. But then it eventually it stops because it has a rest. So the shield that I have is good for these guys because that's what keeps them from getting to me. Oh, and then a turret. Alright, that was a lot of chaos right there, and I was like very, very lucky. Now I just replenish my health. Breaking pots. And these right here, bridges, are good for shortcuts in this little session right here. That's what I found out. So I won't have to like freaking do the entire track all over again just to get to the point where I uh, died last. Because this room connects to another part of the room that takes me to essentially what is the. Uh, Boss dungeon. Oh yeah, I'm trying to get a chest, but uh, can't get it. Nothing is still spinning around on the other side of the room, but I'm just gonna go to the next part of the room. No, you idiot, the other way. All right, this part I has some lessons to be learned here. There we go. Our dog. Getting those two. Here. Yep. There we go. That's how you take care of those guys. And there's one more right down there. And I think I become bold and try to get them. There are going to be like a segment in here where I'm like just constantly dying over and over because I suck at video games. There is no difficulty uh, selection here. It's just like, oh, welcome to the game. Have at it. Just like every other game that's of late. Try to take down the turret, but the turret is very, very hard. And of course, I got a little cocky, and I paid the price. And now, remember that shortcut from earlier that I let down? I can easily just go go and use that to get to the other part faster without crossing all through that and waking up other bad guys. And that little piggy back there is still casey. To a point. And now, as you can see, I'm just, you know, trying to run and just rush things like a speed run, but I just can't. Nothing is still on me, and I, I just collected my chest, and I died immediately. I decided not to follow up him. Get my chest. And then circles around him. Oh, oh. Nope. 
Also, using the shield uses stamina. I used to think, like at first, that it was um, the shield had its own stamina that is separate from my own, but no, it shares the same stamina. But yeah, and these guys have shields of their own. And I'm pretty sure they have like unlimited stamina. And boom, dead again. I made the mistake of running past these guys again. Oh wait, no, I think I was trying to lure these guys to... Oh yeah, now you counter these. Yeah, I can't dodge in the water, so I just get whacked. I remember this. It's hard to figure out how the shield works, cause like, so when you're using, when you have the shield up and you walk around, you literally face the direction of where you're walking. And I'm expecting for like when I have the shield up for me to lock on in the direction of the enemy that is currently approaching me. Okay, yeah, I see what I was trying to do there. I was trying to, man, I am not having a good time right now. So I was trying to lure those little things to the turret and blow up the turret along with the other things. That's what I was trying to do here. But, spoiler, it doesn't succeed. So I just have to take my time and just um, do it the right way. And I even tried to wake that one up to bring it with me. But I think it was like at this part is where I discover, yeah, I discover a new room. And I'm like, oh, what's in here? Okay, so we're back in here. So now I think at this point I am going to try to go into that room. It goes me uh, strategically defeating these things, taking my time as I should have been doing. And I'm just walking into like complete darkness until I find it. Almost there. There we go. Yep, there it is. Open it up, and it's just uh, another coin. I thought it was going to be like another secret weapon, but no. So now, um, there we go, I'm locked on. So that's four hits in, six hits in. Oh, wait, my shield's gone. And I don't have any stamina, so I'm just going to have to wing it. There we go. So I think that was like seven hits. But of course I wasn't counting while I was playing the game. And then these guys. I tried to like pick them off one by one, but like once one knows, the other one that's nearby usually knows too. That's you know video game logic 101. And the pattern with these guys is just like, you know, block, attack, block, attack, block, attack. Just time consuming. I decided to just run it for this time. I remember this. And I also remember I don't get very far. Because then there's that thing. And I was like, oh crap, where do I do? Where do I go? But like, oh, okay, I go through over here. And I'm running, I'm running, and I'm trying to open this. I don't remember if I was successful. No, I wasn't. Because if I would have laid that down, then that would have saved, and that would be like my little shortcut. And right at that moment, I tried to use my fireworks, but they were so close to me, didn't even work. And now I have lost my fireworks forever. And I can't use them again. And I was trying to save those fireworks as bombs for the final boss, because I'm pretty sure that would have helped out a lot. But that's not gonna happen in this run, and that's also partial the reason why I was frustrated with me trying to do this thing. And there goes me trying to run it again. That thing does pack a punch, and that doesn't help at all. It boss me one. And then I thought, oh, I can just like use the turret to uh, kill the piggies, but nope, it doesn't go on as planned. But I do enjoy games that don't have like no a difficulty thing. He's like, all right, just go ahead and learn. It doesn't teach you how to do anything. It's just like, just here you go, have fun. I like to call those like the Mega Man concept game because the Meg, well, Mega Man X concept, my favorite Super Nintendo game of all time. 
Mega Man had a very good job of like not telling you how to play the game because it just, you know, it just assumed that you know how to play games and just like the basic, just move left and right, push your button and find out how to do it and just have fun. That's how I feel this game is like with the whole garbled text and whatever, just not telling you what things are because it just shows you what it is and how it works. Oh, I want you to look at that. I remember to heal. And if I am not mistaken, there's supposed to be two health pickups, but I didn't find the other chest. In this run, at least. And there we go. Down to my last other sliver of health, one more hit, and I'm done for. So I have to be careful. See? Taking my time. Already waiting for the attack, and they retaliate. Boom, there you go. See? If you just take your time, you'll be okay. And another one. Sometimes, uh, with, with certain enemies, you could... Okay, so it was that one. That one right there goes all the way over and catches up to you. And I just missed a shortcut, so I'm gonna go back and fix that real quick. Got it. And then there's this thing. It's uh, another piece of manual for like, you no know, tips and tricks for the dungeon. Basically, the slimes, like, oh, they just like, they're quote unquote mostly harmless. All they want to do is just get close to you, and that's it. But yeah, they're very deadly and dangerous. And now, this part of the dungeon is dreaded for me. And now, I remember my whole little. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. This is exactly where we need to be anyways. And the, the chest is going to spawn right there anyway, so I'll just go ahead and collect that. My health is ready to replenish. I was trying to go back there to replenish my health so I could continue on forward, but since I already got killed, doesn't matter. My health is refilled. Another Kim key item. Doesn't do anything. These things come alive. Which is part of those. Remember that big guy from before? Those are, yeah, those are like his minions. And now, at this point, I'm going to try to get that chest. The very first time when I saw this, with uh, when July was watching me play, I threw the firecracker over there and it killed all of them instantly. So I didn't have to deal with all this mess. And this gives me ice bombs. And if I was smart, yes, which I am in this run, I would go back and heal up. Heal up without actually wasting one of my uh, healing items and get ready for the next challenge. Or get ready for the next battle. Now I'm all nice and full of health. I can go ahead and continue on with my adventure. I didn't have to fight those, but I just had to do so anyways. And look at that, see, see, see where my freaking... Yeah. Well, I decided to bolt it anyways. Brave it. Now this right here would be a boss dungeon. We have two minions and then, you know, a much bigger... So far the boss hasn't noticed me, and now he has. He's noticed me, Senpai. Alright, so far doing good. I'm doing really, really good. And I lose my shield, and... Okay, here we go. So I'm running, I'm running, dodging, getting walloped. Have my shield out, trying to get this guy. Could have healed, could have used uh, another ice charge. Oh, no, there we go, I healed. But it doesn't do much because the next six literally just knocks me down to my last health. And see, as you see, I've seen I was using my shield, but I was walking away. I should have been locked on to keep me facing him the entire time. That is what I failed to remember and to use. But when you guys do play the demo, after watching this, if you want to play the demo, remember to stay locked on and use the shield if you want your shield to always be facing the opponent that you are engaging 
for maximum use of the shield. However, if there's enemies behind you, you're just gonna be screwed. So I just freeze him in place and I whack on the minions. Give me some time. Oof. There we go. Okay, one more hit. Alright, cool. Yeah, his attacks just like deplenishes my stamina when it comes to the shield. And I thought I could tease him by like hitting him through the uh, the bench, but that doesn't work. Yep, there it goes. I have nothing left. And look, I'm not using lock on me. Hey. Oh, we both died at the same time, but that still counts as a loss. He will respawn. I go in. And I'm like, screw this, I'm just gonna like gun it and go for it. All oh, sloppy, not taking my time. Out of stamina, running slow. Frustrated, upset, tired. Well, not really tired, but tired of this sh man. Stay back on. At that point, I did learn to stay lock on. And yeah, it was at this point is where I decided to pretty much just like call it quits or like to give up. I just hold up the shield and it's like the shield has done nothing, just runs to myself, just raving and whatnot. But yeah, this is the demo of Tunit. So even though I don't get further in this point, I'm just telling you what happened. So like you beat the bosses, you flip the switch, the door opens, you go back outside to like this little section. And then you look through a telescope, and then the telescope zooms out to show you the world, and then it just cuts to demo uh, complete or like tunic or whatever. So yeah, that's literally what comes after that. After that, the, the, the demo is basically over. So um, yeah, that was the tunic demo. Thank you for coming on by to watch it. And if you want to see more of our stuff, they're all right here on YouTube, along with this. And you want to see me look around the internet, uh, all the stuff is going to be in the description below. It's called for Final Wawa. Thanks for joining. I'll see you guys on the flip side. And as always, stay awesome.